Hi, I'm auctioneer Sean Kelly from Storage Hunters, and you're watching Link TV. All in fair warn, soldier way. I'm here uh, at the University of Lincoln today with Sean Kelly. Hey. <laughs> um, so have you been to Lincoln before, Sean? My first time in Lincoln, but I got to tell you, it is actually going to be one of my favorite cities in the UK oh, now. Cool. I love it. I love the university. I love the old town up on the hill, the, mm -hmm. the church, the wall. I love how the water goes through the city. I love all the energy. It's cool. <laughs> it's a really cool, cool town. So you've been up Steep Hill. Have you had like an ice cream at the top? Uh, no, because I'm trying to lose a little, uh, <laughs> a little bit of this auctioneer belly. But, uh, but trying to get to the top of the hill, uh, I've never breathed so hard. Yeah. You would think that a bid calling would make you run out of breath. <laughs> that hill makes you run out of breath. Once we like made up a thing that was going to install like donkeys and then slides for the way down. Oh, you yeah, that's a like good that. idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, I've actually rode the donkeys up the hill in Greece, oh, in yeah. uh, Sant, I think it was Santorini. You oh, go up yeah. the inside of a volcano. Yeah. Not a good idea. <laughs> Not a good idea. Um, so being in the UK, um, have you tried like a lot of our food? I know you've like lived in like Italy and Germany. Um, yeah. Have you, like, what do you think of the UK food? Like, um, you on? Okay, well, listen, it's, uh, there's some things I just love. I just, I, you know what I mean? I really, really enjoy. Uh, you guys make the best fish and chips in the world, right? <laughs> you, you guys have that. Um, and and uh, it's interesting. It, it depends on, like, uh, my favorite food, though, is Chinese food. I love Chinese food. And you guys have got really good Chinese food in England, <laughs> right? Yeah. I think it's all those years you guys had that lease on Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you guys wound up with a lot of great Chinese restaurants. <laughs> It's good. Um, so obviously now you're on tour doing um, Sean Kelly Live. That's right. Um, so can you tell us like, a bit about this? Like, How did you start like getting into comedy? Because you did that before all your other work. Yeah, I started stand-up comedy uh, 17 years ago. 17 years ago, long before I was an auctioneer. Mm -hmm. uh, I started doing stand-up open mics in San Diego, where I'm from. Okay. And then I opened my own comedy club. And uh, I produced seven shows a week for eight years, one on Thursday, three on Friday, three on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I put myself on every show <laughs> for eight consecutive years. And then I started doing things like Vegas. I do the MGM, stuff like that. So then once Storage Hunters took off and became worldwide, I, I came up with the idea for Storage Hunters. I was at an auction one day, fight breaks out. I'm like, hold on, this is WWF meets Antiques Roadshow. You know what I mean? It's like a nice <laughs> mixture. So um, once that took off, it, it just gave me a new opportunity to do stand-up. And for people to, okay. that know me from Storage Hunters to come out and see me do stand-up, it's yeah. cool. Um, so where do you like get inspiration for your sets? From? Oh, uh, my life. I mean, um, they say talk about what you know. So uh, I've been married for 24 years to my lovely wife, Lori, <laughs> and we together have traveled to 54 countries around the world, and, uh, and we've done lots of cool jobs. Mm -hmm. Lori and I both used to work for U.S. military intelligence. Oh. Uh, we've done lots of fun, crazy stuff. And every country I go to, I manage to embarrass myself by saying <laughs> something incredibly stupid. So I like to share that with the audience, too. Um, so at the end of your shows, you do like a little live auction, don't you? I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so like, what's like the weirdest thing so far? Like, like a oh, the pizza song? ones brought out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there was this uh, one lady in Hull <laughs> who brought a stuffed pheasant, oh. right? But it wasn't like in the best connect condition. Like the, the neck was all broken, and you know what I mean. It was just. <laughs> but I think we got. I think we got. I mean, it was really. I don't know who would want to buy this thing, but I think we got thirty pounds okay. for it. And what's cool is all the money's going to Help for Heroes, okay. and they're an amazing organization that helps our veterans mm -hmm. that are coming home. And uh, so far, I think we've raised just under 2,000 pounds for those guys. Okay, yeah. that's good. It's been fun. <laughs> um, so do you think you like prefer comedy or like presenting TV stuff? Oh, I love it all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who's just like living his dream because uh, I do storage hunters where I get to be an auctioneer. I love being an auctioneer. I love being able to say whatever I want to say and being obnoxious. Yeah. I have a good time doing it. <laughs> uh, I love doing stand-up comedy. So everything that I'm doing right now is because I love it. And, and I, it doesn't even, I mean, even though it's hard work, it doesn't feel like work. I'm exhausted. I'm tired all the time. Mm -hmm. But I love it. And I think that's kind of a secret. Like, for anyone that's watching, and if, you know, a lot, you have a lot of young viewers, maybe yeah. they're still in school, and if you're trying to think about what is it that I want to do with the rest of my life, mm -hmm. if you can find something that doesn't feel like work and it feels like a passion and you can figure out how to make money doing that, that's what you should be doing because you'll have a happy, fulfilled life. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, like, can you tell us a bit more about how you made your break into TV? Oh, okay. This is a good story. <laughs> so it was basically what I was saying. I was doing an auction one yeah. day. I see this fight break out, 
And I thought, wait a minute, because I've been looking for a show idea for myself. Yeah. But I wanted it to be something that I knew well. It either had to be stand-up comedy or it had to be in the auction world. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I saw this fight break out, I'm like, this is a reality TV, <laughs> right? And if you think about it, the blind bidding's fun. Yeah. Um, because of the TV shows, the bidding's gone a little too high and gotten ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But, you know, back when I first started doing this, you could buy a storage unit for like 25 or $50 US, which is like, you know, maybe 30, 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you could turn around and you could easily make 1,000 or 1,500 pounds off of that. So when I first started, people were really making money yeah. and it was fun. Now everyone wants to try to do it. <laughs> they run the prices up and yeah. sometimes people lose money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so do you think um, you prefer doing it in the UK or US? So much different. Like in the US, uh, I got to know all those people that are yeah. on there really well. We did 80 episodes together mm -hmm. um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. But I got to be honest with you, coming to the UK, being able to travel around the UK yeah. and then being able to be so close to Europe and, and when I'm not feeling, be able to go mm -hmm. to Europe and stuff, I'm having a blast. <laughs> and, and you know what? The Brits are so nice. Mm -hmm. I've been having a, a lot of fun here. You, I noticed that you guys are like uh, Dr. Heckle and Mr. Ha ha ja was it? What is it called? Yeah, Dr. Jekyll, right? <laughs> like, you guys have, like, split personalities. Yeah. You guys have your daytime sober personality, <laughs> and then you have a couple pints at the pub personality. And so it's like everyone's very reserved and very, hello, nice to meet you, you like a tea. But then at night you're like, yeah! And I love that about you guys. It's awesome. Um, so obviously series two is, like, uh, being shown now in the UK. Three. So oh, We're already, three. Yeah, and we filmed four already. Oh, so there's another one coming. I was going to yes. ask you if there was another one. Yeah, and now the network's asking me to do five and six. Awesome. Yeah, cool. that's great. Um, so obviously you have, like, your special auctioneer lingo. Yes. Do you think you could like teach me a bit how to do it? I can turn you into an auctioneer right away. You ready to do this? Yeah, Super easy. So here's a, here's what you got to know about learning to be an auctioneer. Initially, it's just all about going nice and slow, and you got to get the rhythm down, and then okay. we'll speed it up. Are okay. you ready for your quick yeah. lesson? Right, I'm ready. Okay. Do you want to do pounds or do you want to do dollars? Uh, we'll do dollars. Go oh, on. dollars. Go okay. On, then. All right. Go on then. <laughs> I like the way you say that. Go on then. All right. Here we go. We'll go. I'm bid one dollar bidder now, two now, two now, two dollar bidder now. Try that. I'm, I'm bid, bid one. one. I'm, I'm <laughs> bid, try it, try it real slow. I'm, I'm bid one dollar bidder now, two now, two now, two dollar bidder now. Can you do that? Wait, go from the start again. I'm, I'm bid one dollar bidder now. <laughs> Two now, two now, two dollar bitter now, three now, three now, three dollar bitter now, four now, four now, four dollar bitter five. How many five? How many ten? Ten? How twenty? But so the keys go really slow in the beginning. Okay. I'm bid one dollar bitter now, two now, two now. You jump in. I'll here's that. I'll I'll do it. You jump in. You ready? Okay. You jump in anywhere you want. I'm bid one dollar bitter now, two now, two now, two dollar bitter now, three now, three now, three dollar bitter now, four now, four now, four. Jump in! The water's warm. Four dollar bitter now, five now, five now, five dollar bitter now, six now, six now, six dollar bitter now, seven now, seven now, seven dollar bitter now, eight now, eight now, eight dollar bitter now, nine now, nine now, nine dollar bitter now, ten. I think we'll just leave that. To the is that time. that was going really slow too. I felt like we were like, I felt like I was an old man with a walker. Going through the park. Come on, keep up with me, young lady. One dollar bidder now, two now, two now. You can do this. I'm panicking. Not to know <laughs> I, I, she's got a full on panic attack going. That's awesome. Anyway, so that's how you do it. You got to start off. Okay, slow. right. Well, I'll practice that later on. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah, get a couple of pints in you. Right. Um, and don't forget, Sean Kelly uh, is on. In the drill hall tonight at 6.30. Um, is this going out today? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, drill hall tonight, 6.30. See me there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a little comedy and auction. Thanks for having me, Emma. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. All in fair warn, soldier way.